While many are aware of the developing fentanyl crisis here in America, few truly understand the actual damage that substance abuse does here in, uh, in this country. Now, over 10,000 pounds of the lethal drug were seized at the border in 2021. Now, a frightening fact, considering how little is needed to take a life. Look, look at this right here. That little bit on screen yep. is all that is required to kill someone. And that's what was seized. Uh, you know, can you can imagine what is now in the country. 10,000 um, yeah. pounds of that. Yeah. Uh, for more on this, let's welcome in co-founder and president of the Fentanyl Awareness Coalition, Virginia Krieger. Virginia, welcome to the show. Uh, Virginia, as a mother, I, I can't even imagine losing a child. I just, it, I can't even imagine what you have gone through. Um, Virginia, everything you've been through, and you speak to parents all the time who have lost children uh, from fentanyl. How does the lack of action from the administration make you feel? The Biden administration really isn't addressing this at all. No. Well, you're correct. They aren't. Um, they continue to double down on, on trying to treat addiction. But what has happened is since illicit fentanyl infiltrated the black markets, it vectored itself through these fake pills and contaminated traditionally non-lethal party drugs like ecstasy and cocaine. And it's now vectored into the general population. And it, to be honest with you, it's infuriating. Um, for eight years, we people have a, tried to apply harm reduction principles to this crisis. And yes, it is affecting people within the substance use community, but only in, in, in the respect of how many times they're playing Russian roulette. Mm -hmm. Every single time a young person in this country tries a party drug or takes a pill, yeah. there is a one in 20 chance of instant death. Yeah. And so this, this, the, the, these odds of death are the same, no matter if you have SUD or you don't. So now what we're, we're burying children, right. Brianna Bacon, 16 years old, Karina Baldonado, 16 years old, but, Brianna Tesson, 14 years old. Connor Stowe, 15. Right. Jerry and is 15. Amazing. That's what's happening. Yeah, it's amazingly tragic. But here's the thing. It's like, look, I have I have a nine-year-old. I have a four-year-old. I have one on the way. And uh, you know, how do you have a conversation with a 16, 17, 18-year-old kid and say, look, hey, don't do drugs. Every parent has that talk with their, or just about every parent mm -hmm. has that talk with their kid. And they're like, yeah, mom, yeah, dad, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yes, man, you... But but I don't think, like you said, they don't understand that yeah. this is, they, they, you, they are playing Russian roulette. How do you, like, knowing what you know now, going through the amazing, terrifying tragedy that you went through, what would you do differently to, to kind of get the message through their head? I mean, do you waterboard them? I mean, what do you do to get them to, to understand that this is a real thing? Well, the first thing we have to do is address this new demographic being affected, which, by the way, the fastest growing demographic for death are ages 12 to 24. Uh, the drug displacement ratio of fentanyl over all the other drugs on the market is insane. And so the message used to be, just say no. If you use a drug, uh, you might get addicted and ruin your life. Today, that message has changed. The message is you have a 1 in 20 chance of death. This administration has not given a single thought to all of these young people who have not been warned about these fake pills. Yeah. They have no idea they're out there. Um, no public service uh, announcements have been done. And so that's what we're trying to do yeah. is raise public awareness and warn these kids. Bring they don't want to die. Yeah. They don't want to die. Yeah. Talk to us, Virginia, more about what your organization does, the Fentanyl Awareness Coalition. We are comprised of more than uh, 18,000 to 19,000 bereaved family members from across the country. And what we endeavor to do is to raise awareness that this crisis has moved outside of the addiction community, and it's impacting the entire general population. Uh, we are getting public awareness posters out there. Our parents are doing school education, speaking engagements, and, and we're pushing to raise money so that we can start a national public safety and awareness campaign yeah. so that we can reach these young people before tragedy happened. Virginia, quick follow-up question for you, because I remember being in school, right, listening to teachers and the right. DARE officers. Do you think that if kids listen to kids their age who may have lost a friend or a sibling, that maybe they would listen to them because it just hits harder, uh, you mm -hmm. know, hearing it from somebody of their age? Well, I, I, I think it does. And I think the other thing is that this message has changed now. Um, as I said before, they could laugh it off because, oh, I'm going to get addicted and ruin my life. And that's not really a big deal. But none of these kids want to die. They really don't. And once they see these other who are losing their lives to these fake pills and these contaminated party drugs, yeah. that will make an impact. These kids don't have a yeah. substance use disorder. And so 
that makes them very receptive to these kind of messages. Yeah, absolutely. Virginia Krieger, thank you so much for sharing your story with us and thank you for everything that you're doing. Oh, thank you for having us and for raising awareness of, of this course. critical issue. Of course. Are Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.